What's up my friends, welcome back, I'm Daily Fix. we're playing as the Terran Empire of course, um, Grand Admiral, um, we decided that we will be going for domination, since we do want to start vassalizing some of these folks, uh, because I don't want to deal with all of the planets, it's just too much for me to handle. So that is what we'll do, let's unpause here and continue, I've also decided, and that's probably why you just uh, don't see like actual... Um, Actual titles, it, it, it's going to be like episode 1, uh, Terran Empire, uh, Star Trek New Horizons, uh, and then Stellaris Grand Admiral, something like that. Uh, because I, if I need to pause in between every every time I hit record, it's just going to be eh, semi-annoying. So we got the district improvements on minerals, we're already making a buttload of them. Oh, that is sweet. We got the lander pod, we got the armor hit points, but we also got the new ship type, the prototype, the explorer, which is interesting. You are a Tellarite, that usually means... Ooh, hello. So this usually means that there is going to be a Terran doing a job it is not supposed to be doing. Uh, which is fine, but not what we want. So we'll do... Frontier Hospital, so he can actually do a job that does fit his needs. We have a lot of pops here that are not doing anything. 13 are unemployed. Let's upgrade the food building. The recruitment center, I don't think is that interesting at the moment. But it is what it is, I won't be destroying it. The police system is not going to be helping them. And the Orion industry is most likely off limits. Deep mining network. Banking complex. Commercial district. Um, what does it do? Storage. No. Okay. Um, let's replace you. You know, let's go with fusion reactors, so we'll have some more jobs for them to do. And yeah, we'll just see. So surveying is complete, these guys are pathetic, inferior, inferior. This is actually quite, quite funny. Yeah, I can't wait until we start our vesselization uh, spree. I think that is really needed. Uh, the fleet did finish at a whopping 3.2 uh, fleet power, which I... Truly, truly like. Um, defeat the security measures. There we go. So we got ourselves some uh, minor shards. Let's go here. Red relics. Oh, we don't have anything to do with them. Okay, there's nothing we can do with them. That's a bloody shame. It is what it is. Hopefully we'll get something cool. No red daily today. I actually slept very well. Uh, yesterday we... Um, I, I After the stream... I worked for 12 hours, I, oh yeah, I completely missed Leo's birthday yesterday. I feel really bad about it. Uh, I, I, I noticed a bit too late. I really am sorry about that. But yeah, oh well, it is what it is. So out of place, let's see, we got ourselves a relic. Eh. Why? Why? Physics research plus 10. And this is a passive effect. This relic has no active effect. And this one has the passive effect of giving us a more unity. Uh, same for this. Wow, it's actually quite strong. I'm hoping to get more. More artifacts. So, we're just waiting for these ships to be done. This, 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 this bugs me. This bugs the hell out of me. That I cannot upgrade the fleet. It just gives me that one sign. So annoying. Let's start building the uh, the second fleet. Supplies are almost ready as well. How long? 13 months. We, we can hold that out. So Mars development. Tellarite. Okay, so this due to the upgrade will only change the second. You do that. So we've got ourselves a specialist now. Growth speed will increase. It's a whopping 1.55. Yes. Yes. This is what we want. Growth speed. <laughs> the more the better. Oh, man. 
So here we go. So let's do 5k, 5k. Anything else we want to be selling? Actually not really. Let's get some more alloys. Let's make sure that we keep overwhelming for as long as possible. I think the agony chambers are almost done and we definitely need to build them. Let us take... Ooh, those are actually... They could be very nice. I hardly use them, but they could be very nice. This is an upgrade for our science ships. Eventually we should do that because, well, I'm just not really utilizing the most of it. Are you... Yes, you are on your way over there to start building over there. I wonder, I wonder what will happen next. I do, I do want to make sure that we get as high a fleet power as possible. We just flip these around. Hmm, no. Let's uh, at least uh, keep building. Uh, we'll um, terraform along the, the others later. Let's take a look. So, reinforced hull, reduced materials, streamlined production. Shall we go cost efficiently, time efficiently, or survivability? It's up to you, lads. Competitive partners can be removed, resulting in low material cost. I, I'm not sure about that. Design of the arch type ships will be streamlined, resulting in improved building speed. That ship, so no negatives, actually. And initial testing show weak areas. If you see them like weak areas start you uh, want to change these can be reinforced in order to boost overall structural integrity I kind of hate how long it always takes but I'll go with streamlined let's take a look here so we got ourselves the um, the Columbia retrofit and a new ship prototype let us take the lithium crystal reamplification. Damn, that's a word. Nice. So the NX class explorer now has more options. Let's take a look here as well. So the Columbia retrofit is in here. Let's take a look if he actually did get what I wanted. Photon torpedoes. Yeah, we need to get them to all of our ships. So... We're using the uh, the fusion torpedoes mainly, uh, but I do like to get myself armor and hull damage. And well, the accuracy tracking and range are the same. The cooldown on the photo torpedoes are longer, but the output of damage is higher. And we got ourselves the shuttle. And we'll go for tactical because, well, we are the Terrans, of course. And I'm going for weapon range. Let's see, negative one. So we do need to get a nuclear power rejector on there. On board, on board, on board. I don't... Yeah, we, we could do that, though. Meh, maybe. Let's get some... Uh, Evasion? What's the evasion on this thing? 23.2. That ain't high at all. Well, we could do it. Good. Yeah, that's so, so small. We'll go for the additional speed. The afterburner. And we'll go for... Crew bunks. Let's take a look over here. All of these are the top tier. Agony boosts, and we'll get the tractor beam. I think this is a good, good, good one. Yes. Let's take a look if it did. Why didn't it? Actually, I, I renamed this towards the Enterprise, right? Or is it just my flagship that I renamed? So, we got ourselves a upgrade again. Oh, damn. That is not just an upgrade. It's an expensive one. <laughs> damn you. Damn you. It's fine. It is fine. So, planets look to be quite stable. I like that. Agony chambers are now done, so we can start building them. Resort location. Uh, we should actually look into that. So, some planets... 
It's, I think, on the decision. System we could specialize some planets. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Now, I don't think I have too many of them yet. Uh, I don't think I have any of them at all. No. Maybe Vulcan? No Vulcan. Nothing over here either. I don't need martial law. No, okay. So this live. So maybe the resort uh, area is the very first one that we can do. Uh, anomaly research speed plus thirty three percent, or inertial dampers and afterburner. So a upgrade for a module. Let's go with the anomaly research speed, so my science ships get a tiny, tiny bit uh, better. A uh, great weather today, really. Well, it's it's raining here at the moment. I'm not sure what kind of weather it is there, Wenek. Okay, so we're just holding off until we can start fighting. Probably the Norsian tribes, since they are inferior. I do want to make sure that um, we get some vessels going. So how long? Four months, guys. Four months is all that we need to hold on for. We still can't upgrade you, can we? So, special project has been completed. Added a ancient ruin, an uh, ancient wreckage, and anomalous reading. Oh, really now? Study the Defiant. Um... How does one do that? Earth. Fine. Fine. We need to get a scientist back. You're not doing anything. Okay, we need a Defiant back. Research that project. Maybe we'll get some cool, uh, cool stuff from it. Uh, meaning that you... Uh, we... Got... A bunch of stuff going on somewhere, right? Of course, I'm I'm smart, and I did not pay real attention to the name. Actually, it should be just in this system. Yeah, it is in this system. You're very smart. Ah, oh, that's that's semi feeling sarcastic. Oh, that's that's great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, just go ahead and just do automatic exploration. Uh, most of these empires will close their borders with us, which is fine. Because shortly we'll have the domination tree and we'll start making vessels. When you misread the smart. Oh, you bastard. The A and the O. You are really, you are very smart. <laughs> Joke on your behalf. You got me there, buddy. You got me there. So this will all go. We have a lot of population still we need to fill. Uh, things are fine. There we go. Domination. Stake it. So this now should enable us Nossican, you to... Weak. Let's see. Is bordering... Uh, are you kidding me? Can demand permanent submission become the vessel? Why? Let's wait for for the um, the change of the month. Okay, why is this? Why can I not demand vesselization? I know I can demand these from them. Is bordering? Apparently, I am not bordering these guys. You talk and you talk, but you have no garamba. I talk and I talk and I have no garamba. Oh, that hurts! You bastard. Is bordering the Nausean tribes. Give you a better chance. Give you a bigger stick. Yes. Let's take a look if the others have the same issue. So you. Yeah, sorry. So he. Then shut it, please. Thank you. So their economy is equivalent, and it's probably why I am unable. They must be at peace. 
Oh, they're at war. Interesting. How about you? So... They are equivalent. That will change once we have the second fleet. How about you guys? Of Ubaya. Ubaya of Crossroads. Let's see. The man vassalization is bordering the Italian Union. We're bordering all of you. <laughs> I hate this game. Ah, oh, this game. Unlocks the building, the resort location. Uh, we'll have to see if we can actually change that. It's a planet specialization, I believe. So... Let's do claiming influence negative 20 for when we cannot get this all done. So what is your problem? You still have a lot of people unemployed. Yeah, that, that's a big ass problem, I know. Crime isn't that high. Let's, um... Do we need a recruitment center right now? Not really. Let's just make sure... Let's see how many. We have two or three. Let's change you into a fusion reactor. We'll have some more uh, jobs for them, people. You are at war as well, aren't you? Jiri. Yes, you are. Stop it, you Jiri of a buy over the sun. So, why are we not bordering? Let's save here. That's the episode 10. Uh, we'll be reloading and taking a look if the um, a bordering problem gets less. Otherwise, I will be back, of course, in the um, in the Star Trek New Horizons uh, Discord and just asking if there is a bordering issue. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, this is annoying. I should have turned that off, actually. Okay, are you still you not bordering me? Us. Here we go. So, we can now demand vassalization. Their acceptance is a negative uh, a thousand. Let's do it. So we should now go to we war. You. Or we need to wait a year. Is that Give how it works? So we have, we Give did demand. If re refused, grant subjugation causes belly on the north. Oh, there we go. So we now have the subjugation causes belly. So let's declare war. Vassalize. Vassalize. Oh, here we go. We're again at war. Uh, let's start sending you over to this area. We'll defend and defeat our fleet first. We'll keep one fleet back. And we'll use our transports. I kind of think they might be a bit on the lower end of the spectrum. Let us train a few armies. The enemy is targeting one of our stations. Oh, the enemy is targeting one of our stations with a science ship and a construction ship. No! They will do fine. Yes, there's always an issue with the mod. Uh, let's, uh, 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 let's not get too negative. So, yes, we know the, um, the uh, servants of species don't work at the moment. So this, this don't work. Uh, if it did work, my uh, my alloy production would have been through the bloody roof, and this wouldn't be as high. Uh, but we, we we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Let's wait and see what they will do. Can we actually see how many troops are you actually um, colonizing that? We need to hold off. Where is your capital? That's over here. Future imperfect. So Isabella has successfully delivered the defiant to the Imperial Starfleet Command as ordered. The Admiralty and even the Empress are extremely pleased with the good results. Let's pause. It would seem that a promising career in this cards of Isabella, but as well as the end of the rebellion and the technological advancement of the Terran Empire, the scientist studied the Defiant believes that it would take many years to fully understand the futuristic technology and it's unlikely that they do anything. So the Defiant was not required. Bright future ahead, good time. So the Defiant, this ends the um, future event chain. Do we keep the Defiant? Yes, we do. Yes, we bloody do. So we still have a science ship that is 2.3k. Bloody in the early early game. <laughs> I love it. I truly, truly love it. Would we now be able to upgrade you? No, we are still unable to. Let's see if anything changes up here. Uh, we still need to... Actually, now that we... Of course, we can't build a new flagship because we already have the Defiant. 
Bloody hell, man. This is this is hilarious. Let's start sending you over there. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll build this fleet up more. Oh, there we go. We got transports are arriving in a small, small ass fleet as well. So they are all hailing from the capital, which is cool. We'll use the Defiant to go ahead and start taking down systems because it can. Because it can. Oh yeah, that doesn't matter at all. We'll just have to fight everyone. I'm glad that we actually can do the vassalization because it is bloody annoying. And there are they are inferior. So what is the risk of this war? There is none. It's lovely. Loving it. Uh, let's speed up a bit because otherwise I will bore the hell out of you guys. So uh, for those of you watching this on YouTube, I'm taking a break. And for those of you watching this on Twitch, stick around.